Hey everyone, welcome to Quantified Strategies. Today we're going to be talking about the Martingale Trading Strategy. This is a popular strategy, but it's also very risky. So before you use it, we want to make sure you understand how it works and the risks involved. In this video, we make a back-tested example to show you how it works and why it's not a good idea. The Martingale Trading Strategy is a gambling strategy that involves doubling your bet size after each loss. The idea is that if you keep doubling your bet size, you're eventually bound to win a trade and recoup all your losses. Let's say you start with a bet size of $100. If you lose that trade, you double your bet size to $200 for the next trade. If you lose that trade too, you double your bet size again to $400 and so on. Theoretically, this strategy will work if the probability of winning a trade is 50%. That means that you're just as likely to win as you are to lose. So if you keep doubling your bet size, you're eventually bound to win a trade and recoup all your losses. However, there are a few problems with this strategy in the financial markets. First, the probability of winning a trade is rarely 50%. If you trade long enough, you'll have many losers in a row, even with the best strategies, which can wipe out your account. Second, even if you do win a trade, you may not recoup all of your losses. This is because you'll need to win a trade that's twice as big as your biggest loss in order to break even. So is the Martingale trading strategy a good idea? Let's make a practical example and backtest a trading strategy on S&P 500. We make the following trading rules to create a base test to compare against. The strategy performs well and returns 8.7% annually despite being invested a small fraction of the time. Now let's assume you want to change the strategy so that you employ only 33% of your equity when the 4-day RSI crosses below 30 and you add the rest, 66%, when it crosses below 20. This is Martingale in practice, at least for one doubling. Unfortunately, it gets worse, as the chart indicates. Compared to the original strategy, the total gain is reduced. See the right chart? Because less capital is put to use, they're on the sidelines waiting to get martingaled, and a few rare losers make losses bigger. You get the worst of both. So to sum up, the martingale strategy is a bad idea for traders. It's a very risky strategy that can easily wipe out your account, and you need to have capital on the sidelines waiting. You better look for another approach to make money. The Martingale was meant for gambling, and that's where it belongs.